Hello my fellow music people. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my intros to my music quizzes in DaVinci Resolve. If you and I are meeting for the first time, my name is Bob Cheslinski and I'm a music teacher. I make these YouTube videos in my spare time to share my knowledge to help you with everything music. Let's get right to the video so I can show you how to make this intro. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Blackmagic Design. And that's where I get the software called DaVinci Resolve. It's a totally free piece of software and it is so easy to use. I love using this. You're going to go in and you're going to click the download button and then just download it for the platform that you tend to use. If it's a Mac or Windows based they have that, even Linux, if you use that. And after you have the software installed, I look for some assets to use, and I'll just go to Google, and I'll do searches for whatever I need. A free countdown, a free image, and normally I can find those things. I also use uh, TubeBuddy for my YouTube videos, and I have a subscription, it's like $5 a month, and I get free audio and some other free assets that I can use and that's where I got the audio for the beginning of the musical video quizzes. So what you're going to want to do is from the home screen you're just going to want to open a project down the bottom new project and then you can name it and it'll ask you to put in some different parameters. So now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to import those free assets that you found into your media bin. So you're going to come up to file and you're going to click import media. And I'm just going to do this to show you. I'll click on the back to the future and I just highlight those and I click open and right here you can see they were imported into the media pool so that I can use these. Let's begin building the intro to a musical quiz video. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to take this clip that I found. It's just a, um, a film strip clip and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it down into the video one tab. And now that's in there and it's good to go. I'm going to hit play just to make sure everything's moving and working and looks great. And it does. So now we need to add something more to this. You know, music makes everything pop and everything more special. As you watch that clip, it was pretty boring. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab my audio clip. Capture the sunlight is this clip that I got from TubeBuddy for free. I'm going to click play just to see how it all lines up and sounds. Seems to be working pretty good. So let's come down to the bottom to cut and I'm going to drag this back to the beginning of the timeline and I can see that there's dead space here at the beginning. And I, I want to avoid that dead space. So I'm going to line up that clip even. And I'm going to click on the audio clip. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to click split. And when I do that, it puts this audio clip into two parts. I'm going to make sure I click on that part of the clip that I don't want. I'll right click and click cut. Now that has disappeared. And then all I have to do is take that audio clip, drag it back to the beginning. Everything is lined up. So now when I come back to my main part of my clip in the edit and I click play, should look and sound pretty good. And the one thing that I notice is down here in this mixer board, I'll play it again, it's up in the red, which means that the audio clip is too loud and it's clipping the sound and it's going to give me distorted and just weird sounds. Let's take a listen and you'll see and look down here and you'll see. Alright, so I'm going to right click on my audio track and when I do that I'm going to come up top to where it says normalize audio levels. And what I basically do is I click in this box and I can drag to the left and the right and change the numbers. I can also double click in there 
and just put the numbers in. So all I have to do now is click Normalize, and it brought that audio level down. I'm going to click on this again and make sure to watch over here in the mixer, and you'll see that it's at minus 10 decibels, which is a good audio level for your YouTube video or any videos you're making. Great, so now that's not clipping anymore. All of that is fantastic and ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my effects library, and when I click on that, it brings up all my effects, and I'm going to click on titles. The title that I tend to use most is the fade on for this musical quiz video. All you have to do is click on that fade on, drag it over to where you want it, and I'm going to put that in my video 2. When I click on that video 2 box, that fade on, it's going to be highlighted in red. That way I know I can use all of these things. And I come up and I make sure that my inspector is clicked on. If it's not, it looks like this, so I want to click on the inspector. The inspector allows us to go in and do anything we want to that particular video. So I'm going to click in the text box because I would like to change the text. And I'm going to put guess the movie. I'm going to come down and grab my red timeline and just slide it over to where I can see those words that I just typed in really, really well. Now I'm going to come over back into the inspector, and I have white clicked on, but you can come in here and you can change this to any color you would want. You just click OK, and it's that easy. Boom, it's changed. I'm going to come back to white because I just think that white just pops on this. And you can come into the font, change any of the fonts, whatever you would like. Let's click on this one, Mongolian. I don't even know how you say that. But, but he, we can make the size bigger, smaller, just by clicking in the size box. You can even put this on the screen in the place you would like by clicking in the position X and just moving left or right. Clicking in the Y to go higher up or lower on the screen. And that's simply how I do this text. It's that easy. I would like to add a little bit more to this, so I'm going to come over and grab the Fade On title again, and I'm going to add another one in here. And I just drag those. I click on them, drag them to where I want them, and then I can click on each box and come into it, and I can put whatever text I would like in there, change the color, change the size, change the font, change where it is on the screen. Uh, let's go get ready. I'm going to make the font size a little bit bigger. And let's put that Mongolian Bati on. There it was. That way we're keeping everything pretty even. I'm going to come over and I'm going to position this up just a little bit so we can see it better. Let's come over to our last box. Drag that timeline over in the last box. Let's put in Let's Play. Let's make this even again with the Mongolian Bati. And we'll make the words a little bit bigger. And how about we come down and move this up a little bit also. We have our words in. We've made everything even. So we're all in the same font, same size, color. And let's hit play and just kind of see what this looks like and what it sounds like. Alright, so I noticed that my audio is going too long for the video. So let's come back to cut. All I have to do is line up my audio clip with the video clip. So now all I have to do is right click on the audio and click cut and now that's gone. Everything is lined up now. And the last thing I'm going to do then, when I 
hover over the audio clip, these little markers show up. And that is a way that I can do a fade in and a fade out. So I'm going to grab that marker. I'm going to pull it over maybe a couple seconds to the left. And now whenever I come back, and I hit the play button, it is going to do a little fade out. DaVinci Resolve is a pretty cool program. It's so easy to use. I even learned how to use it. Down in the description below, I'm gonna leave a link so you can go and click right on that and it will take you to DaVinci Resolve and you can download that software to use. I'm also gonna leave some other links down below and one of them will be for TubeBuddy where I got the free audio to use. I'll also leave some other links down below for some other videos if you want to click on those and watch those. Some of those will be the musical quizzes that I made. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch those, you can see those and some other videos that I've made. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you'll get all of my videos as soon as they're released. I hope you enjoyed this video today about DaVinci Resolve and creating intros for musical quiz videos or whatever you want to do. DaVinci Resolve is such a cool program. I really enjoy using it. It's so fun and easy to use. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Tune in for more videos. I'll be doing more DaVinci Resolve videos in the future and I'll see you in my next video.